If you're looking for the HP NV laptop, I'm gonna to talk today about the laptop, the two-in-one laptop. This channel mainly pushes Apple products. I've been really impressed lately. However, HP, in my opinion, seems to be on the cutting edge when you can do the same thing virtually on HP that you do on Apple. And these notebooks are specifically designed to attract more creatives into the HP market. You're talking about the 4K display, the processing, how it's just gotten much faster. There's even a wireless mouse that they're promoting. Thank you again for joining us. If you're new, today we're talking about the HP NV 2-in-1 laptop. I'm gonna get into some of the specs, give you an overview, talk about the hardware, as well as we're gonna get into like what the functions are of this NV. How does it fit in your everyday life? If you're a gamer, if you're just typing some documents in Microsoft Word. In terms of the HP NV, now it's gonna come with eight gigs of RAM. I really wanted to see this computer with the Thunderbolt 3 and the HDMI port. It does not have that. You're only limited to the USB-A and USB-C ports. It also has 512 gigs of SSD hard drive and the storage can be expanded into the micro SD card. The other connectivity ports includes the USB-A port. There's a single USB-C port. This does not have the Thunderbolt 3, unfortunately. I personally would consider this being one of the best two-in-one laptops that you can buy. Well, the screen is very bright, so you're not gonna have a very much of an issue uh, when you're watching this, if you're watching something in the dark. However, if you do use this computer outside, you wanna watch out because the, the screen becomes very glossy and it's kind of hard to see, especially if you have the sun that's that's like in your face or on the screen, it just becomes very glossy on the screen. One of the really cool features about the NV laptop is the ability to fold it over. It's sturdy enough to where it's not gonna break. In fact, it feels very strong. Carrying it around the house, it's gonna take some getting used to. Like I said, this is like an oversized, almost like an iPad. I hope that doesn't offend you Windows users who don't like iPads and Apple. Now, I was very curious about how this NV would work on the go. The battery action is not very good. So it, the battery only lasts about four to five hours. Doesn't really affect me because I'm, wherever I'm gonna be, it's gonna be an outlet somewhere to hook it up. Of course, I cannot talk about the NV without talking about the touchpad. It's a little bit sensitive to your touch and it may click on something that you may not want to. If this, however, becomes an issue for you, you probably will be taking this computer back to the store. I'm just, I'm just being honest here. That's what it is. For the backlight, if you do happen to experience issues with the backlight, you can press F4 or F5. Depending on what model you have, you can try that. In most computer models, this will allow for the backlight to either be turned on or off. Some you may have to press the function along with F4 and F5 to activate your backlight or to deactivate it. The unfortunate part about this backlight is it only stays on for a few seconds. So you may need to set or reset a timer. You can actually go into your computer's preferences or your system settings and change. It's called the backlight timeout function. This is located in the basic input and output system. I'm going to attach the information or the directions of how to get to that in the description. So if you want to stop the video, you can get the directions there on how to reach or how to get to the BO, what's the BIOS. This is the basic input and output system. If you're indeed curious as to how the HP 360 sizes up to other computers, I'm going to show you a couple of graphs of benchmark tests for all of you computer geeks. During one of the synthetic benchmark tests, the HP 360 scored a 8,362, which is pretty much better than most of the computers out there. On the Geekbench, it scored a 5.3, which is not also, it's not terribly bad. Main score that I was looking for was the premium laptop average, which is about 4,430, which it scored above average on that. HP was number one. Just as a comparison, the Latitude was second and the Surface Pro came in third. For all of you who are interested in converting your video files to 1080p, the HP took about 10 minutes to convert those files from 4K to 1080. During the file transfer test, the HP scored about a 570 megabytes per second. This, however, is below the premium average, which is about 620 megabytes per second. With all of this research, this should be able to give you information, or more information to help you better decide if this is a laptop for you. Once again, this is the two-in-one laptop if you do decide to purchase this. You know what? If you want a comparison of HP products, in other words, if you want to compare this Envy to 
say the pavilion there's a video i have on my channel right now that i reviewed the hp pavilion go check that video out and you can compare these two computers they both were released probably within the last year year and a half if you do decide to get this and you bring it home there is an hp app called quick drop that you can use to transfer your files directly from your phone to this computer. So it's just a quick app that you can use. I thought that was cool. I wanted to share that. This is like a bonus for you guys ready to go ahead and purchase. Overall, a very responsive computer with the touchscreen as well as the keyboard and mouse. You can interchange either one. HP, I wonder why you didn't add a stylus pen with this. That would have been great to have as a bonus, but you know, maybe that's for the future. Not sure what HP has coming up.